Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. I have another Wombat video here for you. Huge announcement late last week. They are now expanding even more multi-chaining. They are expanding into the Polygon network. So that's great. So now they have three different chains that you can go ahead and use for Dungeon Masters, uh, eventually Womb Wombplay, and, and maybe even Dungeon Worlds. Uh, you have Wax, which is their primary one, EOS, and now Polygon. So today we're going to, this, in this video, we're going to go ahead and talk about the, the Polygon, what they have available, what you can go ahead and play, uh, and really how it's going to benefit uh, just your overall Dungeon Master gameplay. And eventually, I keep saying eventually, Wamp Play, because I'm assuming that in Wamp Play, if you're familiar with it, they they there's a lot of different games on there for different blockchains. Uh, and I'm assuming that some Polygon games are going to be uh, very shortly added to, to Wamp Play as far as being able to go ahead and use them. So let's go ahead and focus on what they just added and, and how it benefits you specifically for Dungeon Masters. So they did, an, they did a whole Medium article uh, basically explaining why Polygon. Um, I think it's a great move. I've talked about this several times now. Uh, I think games during this bear market should focus on expanding to multiple chains, not moving from one chain to another, not leaving a chain, not ignoring a chain, focusing on multiple chains. There's just not enough players, uh, specifically in Wax and, and really in each of the blockchains to really make a game big. So it, it makes sense to go ahead over multiple ones. Um, and I think every game is going to do that over the next year uh, to really expand their reach until either uh, we, we go back into a bull market or uh, there is one blockchain that really defines itself as the gaming blockchain. Uh, but right now, there's just multiple ones out there that are good. My two favorite, I've always said, uh, is Wax and Polygon. So I'm excited to see that Wom Wombat is in both of those now. All right, I, I will go ahead and link the article for this down below. It, it kind of goes into the details as far as uh, why they picked Polygon, um, some of the details around what's available now in Polygon kind of some of the stuff that I'm going to go ahead and talk about in this video. So you can go ahead and check out the Medium article if you want to read through that. Uh, but let's go ahead and talk about it. They essentially did a drop. They have new uh, NFTs um, on the Polygon network. The NFTs are going to give you, I believe, 1,000 MP if you go ahead and stake them in. So it's essentially instead of now 200 uh NFTs that you can go ahead and stake in Wombat Dungeon Masters, you can now stake 300. So it gives you a chance to go ahead and expand uh, and get a higher MP uh, so you can get better results really in the game. They do have a sale that's going on right now. Uh, the link is in their Discord. I, I don't want to put a link in the description down below in case it changes. Uh, always check the Discord so you get the official links uh, for these sales and, and for the open seas, which I'm going to talk about. They also have a, a a collection now in open seas there are a number of copycats that are coming out there uh so please make sure you go to their discord and get the correct uh link so you get the right collection don't want to get anyone to get scammed with that so wanted to throw those out there just to make sure that you're always checking their discord for updated links um but they they essentially have i believe it's 25 if i'm counting right uh yeah 25 new NFTs that are out there for the Polygon network. Um, I heard rumors that at some point there's going to be a blend for all 25. I could be wrong on that. I'm not 100% sure on that, so please don't commit me to that one. Uh, but they have a whole bunch of different options, ranging from 3.5 Mantic all the way down to 11. Uh, if you're not familiar with the Polygon network, it does use MetaMask. It does use OpenSeas as far as uh, what the secondary market is. It's it's quite a bit different than Wax. Uh, I'm starting to do some basic videos around that to get you all more familiar with it. So it is a slight change to what you may be used to if you've only been used to Wax. Uh, it also uses a different currency as far as Mantic is the Polygon uh, currency out there. So that's how much they cost. They're, they're relatively cheap with the current conversion rate. Um, and they give you each give you a thousand Mantic. Uh, they also in the Discord have a, a spreadsheet out there that shows the, the different items that you can see here. Um, I'm sorry, there, there is one that is uh, 350, uh, but they all focus on iron as far as the, the results that you get from them. Uh, and most of them are 1000 MP power edition. Uh, the other thing that I did want to note is they are starting to add other games to this list as far as Polygon games that can be staked within uh, Dungeon Masters. And Planet uh, IX or Planet 9, again, don't sure how to say it, 
um, is is one of the main ones that, that went ahead and jumped in here early. So they are available. If you have any of their NFTs, you can go ahead and stake those. Um, uh, it, it's it's really a chance. And let's it's really a chance to get additional uh, MP. And again, I told there's going to be additional benefits down the road uh, with this expansion to Polygon. Uh, but as far as the game goes, let me actually show you in actually before I even show you in the game, let me buy one of these. Um, so I can go ahead and, and stake it into the game itself. I am uh, on their specific website where they're doing the drop. Uh, as you can see, it is mint.wombat.app. Uh, and again, go to their Discord for uh, just to confirm the, the, the links. Uh, but there's 25 out here. I'm just going to grab one of these from the top here. Uh, one of the desert rocks. Uh, let's go ahead and do the smartphone um, and grab one of those. As you can see, I have it added to the cart. I have my MetaMask linked up and we're gonna go ahead and use a crypto wallet. And it's gonna go ahead and make sure that the, the thing that you have to be aware of again on uh, Polygon is there are gas fees. As you can see, there's a gas fee right here and the total cost is gonna be right here. So I'm gonna go ahead uh, and it changed because I waited too long. Go ahead and confirm. Um, and then it's, it's going ahead and it's waiting for the transactions. Uh, it's not instant. It takes a, a minute or two for it go, to go through and get all the confirmations. And you're going to see down here that there is going to be a confirmation that pops up uh, eventually. And then I will have that uh, that NFT in my, my slot so I can go ahead and stake it. There we go. Confirm the purchase. I'll receive the, the NFT shortly. Let's go ahead and click on my profile, which takes me over to OpenSea. Uh, and I have it right here. It's right there. That is the new one uh, that I just purchased uh, on the secondary market. It's already selling for five Mantic. Not quite sure. Uh, you can still get the mint, which is cheaper, but that's, that's a whole other topic we'll talk about. So let's go ahead into the game now. I'm going to go ahead and refresh it uh, since, since I want to make sure everything is up to date. So there's a couple things you're going to have to do in the game to make sure that you are good to go with this. Uh, you're going to have to go ahead, refresh. Um, and the first thing you want to do is set up your wallet. Uh, so if you already have a, a, a MetaMask uh, Polygon wallet, you can go ahead into settings and then you can go ahead and you see allow poly. I haven't done it yet because I've been, I've been waiting to do it for this video. You click on that. It's going to connect to your MetaMask. Make sure that you are connected to the right thing and you go ahead and connect it. And now you can go ahead and see that I have it connected there. As far as my address goes, I am connected. Um, so let's go back. Now that I have that in there, I'm curious if I'm going to have to, let's go ahead and just refresh it for simplicity's sake. I wonder if it's going to have me reconnect to the polygon. I'm not sure yet. Again, this is my first time running through this one. Uh, and then what you're going to see is same as you would before. If I want to go ahead and stake any additional NFTs, you go here. And now what you're going to see is you're going to see you have three options along the top here. Uh, and then the polygon, I'm as I expected, I'm going to have to... Uh, connect my Polygon wallet, sign in, uh, and there we go. Now we are connected. And then you can see I now have the NFT available here. So you have the, the WAX tab, you have the EOS tab, and you have the Polygon tab. If I click on the Polygon, I now have that NFT that we just saw, which is only 350 uh, mining power. Um, please again, uh, check out the, the table that is there on the Discord to make sure that you have the right option there. But all I have to do is go ahead and stake it, press hide the NFT, make sure I hit yes, because it's confirming that you want to go ahead and do that. It's going to go ahead and connect to your wallet. Again, a gas fee. Be aware of that. There are gas fees for Polygon. So it's going to cost you a little bit more. Make sure you have that extra Mantic in there. And then it's going to go ahead and hide it in game in a few seconds and give you that additional uh, mining power that you need. So that, I, I mentioned this before, and this now expands your ability to go ahead and instead of just stake 200 between WAX and EOS, you can now stake 300 uh, NFTs in there. And if you want to go ham and you want to buy a whole bunch of them, uh, bare minimum, if you, you buy 100 of them, which I, I'm not necessarily suggesting, just for entertainment purposes, um, if you go ahead and do that, uh, you'll go ahead and get, what is it? 35,000 extra MP bare minimum. If you get a hundred of them, uh, again, I am not suggesting that please make sure you do your own research before you go into any of these should have done that at the beginning, but we're still getting the disclaimer in there. Um, but it, it's just an option out there. And now you can see I have 
I have 101 hidden. And if I go over here, you can see I have the, the normal options, which is the wax, the EOS, and the polygon. And if I wanted to, which I'm not going to, I can click on this and release it from there, which takes 24 hours, similar to any of the other NFTs that you go ahead and stake within the game. I hope this was helpful. I think it's a great expansion into Polygon because I really like Polygon. I know there's gas fees, but it's it's relatively cheap for the gas fees. Uh, obviously, it's not as good as Wax, which there's no gas fees, uh, but it's one of the cheaper gas fees uh, blockchains out there. I think there's a lot of room for expansion with this. There are a ton of NFTs that are on Polygon Network that, that, that'll make it easy to expand for you if you choose to do that. Uh, so I think it's a really good expansion for them. Uh, please let me know down in the comments below uh, if you have any questions, if you have any uh, items with Polygon that you have any questions about or that you want to request any videos for, I'll be happy to do that. Uh, please also let me know what your thoughts are of the expansion of Polygon. Again, I personally think it's good, but I, I'm interested to see what you all think too. I hope you all have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.